Hey y'all, it's a new show today. It's been a while. Hope you enjoy. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Alaskan Gamer Show. This is the 8th episode. Um, if you guys are wondering where I've been, I've just been busy. I got um, college and I've been working on the ideas for two new shows, Insanity and Super Trash Bag Man. I uh, just recently finished The Masks for Super Trash Bag Man and one of his nemesis out of the three he has. Um, Insanity should be up this weekend. I'm currently still filming it. Um, Super Trash Bag Man, I don't know if I'll be able to film it this weekend. Um, might have to be when I'm in school in Wyoming. And uh, I leave Tuesday, so it's five days from now. Um, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be hard to leave. I mean, even though I give Alaska a bunch of crap, it gave me a lot of memories. So, all right, well, guys, this is the Alaska Gamer Show. No more bull do this. So recently, um, I came up with the decision to make it so I don't have videos or movie section and then game section. I'm not gonna do that anymore. From now on, it's gonna be every episode is specific to movie or gaming. So this episode right now is going to be for movie, next one maybe for gaming or movie, it depends. Um, so we got a lot to cover today on the movies, so let's get started with um, movies that just came out in theaters. Um, what do we got, what do we got? Horrible Bosses. Now, my little review on it, it's, it's a good movie. I laughed my ass off, it was well done. Um... I don't know, it's kind of hard to say. I mean, Jason Bateman, he's a he's a funny actor. He's been in some good movies. I want to see The Change Up still. I haven't seen it. Um, I was supposed to go see Rise of the Planet of the Apes Thursday, but I didn't have time. Wait, today's Thursday. Last Thursday, sorry. And um, I wanted to give a re review for that, but I've heard good things. I've heard mixed things, actually. Like Some people are like, I, it was just sad throughout. And then my friend Nolan was like, oh, this is b****ing. So, I don't know. Um, I'll, f I'll be the judge of it for now that it was good. So, I'll get back to you on it when I see it. Probably this weekend when I have time. Um, I'm still working. I've got three days left. And then i got to get out. So, anyways, um, back to Horrible Bosses. The storyline is pretty much about three guys. Um, they both have, they all have different jobs, of course. And, let's see, one of them has a boss, Kevin Spacey. He's a total... He pretty much over. What does he do? He's just an a hole. He's just a rich asshole like Charlie Sheen. Cocaine! He just likes to be in control of everything. I'm winning. Jason Bateman's like. Aah. He's like, I don't like this guy anymore. And then the other guy is um, his boss. Uh, uh, Donald Sutherland was his boss, and he died. And then his son took over the business, and his son is a total crack whore. And I have tiger blood. He just, like, ruins the business, trusts to fire everyone, like that. And the guy doesn't like it. And the guy who plays that character is from Hall Pass. He was the other guy, not Owen Wilson. And then the other guy is sexually assaulted by Jennifer Aniston. Now... Like they say in the movie, I don't see much of a problem with yours. And he's like, oh, I like to think that um, I should be nice to my wife and or my fiance, I should say, and not cheat on her with my horny boss. Okay, it's Jennifer Aniston for one, so she's not too old. And second, I can understand. I mean, the love is a powerful thing. It hurts a lot of people. So, anyways, it was a funny movie, and then... They end up going on this idea of killing, and it just has some twists and turns. Like I've heard from other critics that they gave this an average. They just said you can highly expect it to be good, or you can just think it's gonna be told. And I thought it was good, so maybe I'm just above average. <laughs> so, all right, we'll move on to um. Oh, Captain America. There we go. All right, so my little review on Captain America. I actually liked it. The storyline was amazing. I loved Captain America. The guy who played him did a bang up job. Um, I, I think I was the only kid in the theater, the pack theater, when it showed him getting into the, uh, genetically altered chamber thing. I think I was the only one who said, Master Chief! 
bitches. I think I was the only one who ever did that, so. Because, yeah, a lot of movies now are just like, wait, I said I want to get into gaming. When I get into the gaming section, I'll pick on it, but not right now. Okay, so, anyways, Captain America was good. So, I I don't highly recommend it. I recommend you watch it for the first time and see how, what you think and stay after the credits to watch the preview for the Avengers. Then again, the preview for Avengers is up on YouTube already, I think. <sighs> I don't know. You, you guys will find out. But yeah, it, it's good to watch it so you understand the background of what's going to happen to the Avengers. I mean, I find Captain America to be the opening to the Avengers. And of course, he was the first Avenger, duh. But it did a really good job. And I love Tommy Lee Jones, so it was a good movie. Um, the end of it was kind of up what they did to him, but that he had to adjust somehow, so... Sorry, I didn't want to ruin the movie for anyone, but you have to understand that he's going to be the Avengers, and that's in the present day when he was in the for from the 40s. So, hope you all enjoy that movie if you see it. Oh, so, previously saw this. Cowboys vs. Aliens. I hated it. Sorry, guys. It wasn't worth my while. That Ethan Hawke, whatever his name is, the guy who usually does James Bond, all he does is a bunch of nut shots. There's nothing... He's a stupid actor. I don't like him in this movie. I liked him in James Bond, Quantum Sola, Quantum of Solace. I liked him in some other movies like Golden Compass, but I hated him in this. I mean, Harrison Ford, it's good to see he's still acting, kicking ass, but this movie, I don't think he... I only went to go see it because of Olivia Wilde. And no, I know she was naked, but didn't show anything. I, whatever. We're men. But, God, and the aliens just look like crab people from in South Park. What the hell, guys? You couldn't think of anything else? <laughs> this movie wasn't worth my time. It, it was good. It was dark. It was eerie. It um, gave you perspective on like what how useless the cowboys were back then, and yet they befriended uh, Native Americans, and they just kicked the shit out of the aliens and stuff. But I don't know. Some of the things in it is like, that shouldn't have been here. That was just stupid. And some things are like, it's a good twist, but I just can't get a thrill for it. I gave it a rating of 3 out of 10. I mean, other critics are giving it like 7 and 6 out of 10 to be nice. I'm just going to flat out say it was good, but it was shit. I mean, it was a highly recommend, recommended movie, and it's been going on for about the past two years, about the previews for it and stuff, and it finally came out, and everyone was pumped to see it, and no one gave me feedback on it. Like I asked... My mom said, you're going to love this movie. My Aunt Wanda said, you're going to love this movie. My Uncle Greg's going to... And all my friends went to go see it, and they have not given me shit about it. They haven't said anything. So I'm assuming I have to find out for myself. And I found out, and I'm like, now I see why they haven't talked to me about it. It was stupid. Three out of ten. Maybe four. No, it's three. Sorry. Olivia Wilde, marry me. Harrison Ford, good job. Eth mm. That's all for today. Um, this is the video, Alaska Gamer Show, show for now. Episode 8. Um, episode 9 will be up maybe later this week, and I'll be talking about games, of course. Maybe, if I can. But, yeah, I leave next Tuesday, the 16th, and I'm going off to Wyoming for college, Laramie. So, I'll, I'll still do these web show, guys. Don't worry. Um, I'm sorry it took so long to do this, three weeks, but I was really busy, crunched for time, and <sighs> my life is going to be fun. All right, so, all right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Um, I'm putting up a new music video tonight or tomorrow. It takes a long time to edit these things, but we'll figure it out. All right, guys, talk to you later. Cocaine!